Hey guys, this is Kami Ken, and in this video, we'll be covering the materials that you get in your $1,000 Cupid School art kit for first years. And um, I'll also be telling you about the materials that I use the most and the ones that I use the least so that you can make a more informed decision about whether you want to buy the actual art kit or maybe go on your own and just buy the materials shown in the video. Uh, so let's begin. All right, so this is the actual art supply list. Uh, I'll be posting up a uh, scan version in this video and also on my blog so that you'll have a uh, reference to go back to. Um, and we'll be uh, mapping each item from this list. All right, first thing on the list is your Pentel correction pen. Uh, this is actually the most useful item in your kit. Uh, especially for inking assignments, so make sure not to lose it. Next is the Signal White Fine Pen. I didn't actually use this one as much, but it was very useful for highlights and uh, touch-ups to my inking projects. The Pilot Razor Black and Red, I barely use them at all. I forgot I even had the Micro Perm Pen, but it would have been useful. Another really useful item, the Pit Artist Pen Set, uh, will be used a lot for lettering class and also for touch-ups on your inking projects. These black wing pencils will be used mainly in first year animation if you decide to go digital in the second semester. These Stadler pencils are pretty good. I mainly use a range from HB to 3H. I mainly use the Graphic Gear pencil to go over my anatomy assignments and finish them up. This is a lead holder. I hardly used it. I used the Kali Race pencil more often earlier in the year and then I stopped. This pencil I started using more later on because it was just kind of fun to have blue drawings. I never once touched these, but I knew a guy who used them every day. These pencils will mainly be used in anatomy class. You will inevitably drop them though. Never used this, but it's great for figure drawing in anatomy class. Never touched, never touched, never touched. Your China marker will only be used for one single assignment in Methods and Materials class involving a coquille board. A very interestingly named sharpener which is used to get fine points on your pencils. Literally just a kneaded eraser. This eraser is trash. Throw this one out as soon as you get it. I only spared its life for this video. Instead, pick up something like this, this, or even this. You'll be much better off. Only used once and then never again. You'll get a lot of mileage out of the Bombay Black ink. Uh, I even used it before I came to the school. I can't say the same for the Speedball Black though. It spills. I've been using the sketching set from Hobby Lobby before I even came to this school. It's good. The art kit and the sketching set come with many nibs, but the ones you'll be using the most are these ones, the Hunt 102, and the B6 or 5 nib for lettering. I only used the scratch knives once for a scratch board project in Methods and Materials, and this is what I made out of it. Your knife will come in especially handy for sharpening your pencils for anatomy class. I only used my cutting board exactly two times. This will come in really handy if you're done inking with a brush and you need to clean it. This is a painting palette. It was only mandatory once to use your art tape for a narrative assignment. And after that, it's up to you. 
Masking tape is really useful for any projects that require painting or ink wash or just any general use of tape. This is the coquille board on which we use the china marker to draw a celebrity for an assignment. You will run out of comic paper before the end of the year. It's a good idea to bring extras if you have some at home. Tracing paper is really useful for teachers to give you a draw over critique. Illustration board is mainly useful for any gouache paintings that you'll have during the year. You get four sheets. I never touched this graph paper or had any reason to use it. It's a sketchbook. If you draw enough in it, you'll be needing a new one by the end of the year. This paper is mainly used in narrative class and you'll likely run out of it by the end of the year. This is just an oversized sketchbook, but it's really fun to draw in and it can help substitute some paper for different assignments. If you budget your newsprint wisely, you'll only need one per semester for anatomy class. Just don't make one huge drawing for every page front and back and you'll be fine. I forgot I had these until the last day of the year. Not mandatory. I'm not a Copic guy, so I didn't use these very much, but I do know that some of my classmates use them almost every day. These gouache paints were only mandatory for one assignment during the year, but you are able to use it on other assignments where allowed. This is a $40 brush. I didn't use it very much, and I don't like inking with brushes. Treat it with care. These are synthetic brushes. Treat them however you like. The number 10 did end up being my favorite for gouache painting though. You'll use the Ames guide for a few projects in lettering class. I forgot I even had triangles. I think they might be useful in a few projects though. I use the French curves just for drawing cars and other mechanical objects. I only use this once to ink with and most other times I use a circle template. This drafting brush is great for brushing off your work area or any eraser savings. I don't like using this metal ruler. That's all. This ruler, however, makes it easy to rule my pages 10 by 15 every single time. I mainly leave this T-square on my desk at home, but you will be needing it for some lettering assignments. This is a circle template, but the circles don't get that big. This book basically supplements digital coloring class, but they'll teach you everything you need to know in the class. You'll be drawing anatomy parts out of this book for human figure class. And this is the big portfolio that will hold most of the stuff you'll be taking to school. Yeah, I basically put all of my um, uh, measuring tools in this little bag up top here. And any extra books that I had. I would put in uh, this uh, extra side pack here. So, yeah. Your secondary item, basically your sidearm, is your artist toolbox, which will just hold all your drawing stuff, basically. It might actually be different in the coming year, as I've seen that some of the previous years uh, have had different models of a box. I've seen some people even use fishing tackle boxes for more space. You probably won't need to bring this bag outside of your first week or two, 
it's just extra space to hold your newsprint and animation paper. An extra item I brought from home that helped me a lot during the school year was this light box that I got a while back. Uh, so if you have one, bring it. Alright, so that should cover it for this list. Uh, I've actually been waiting to make this video since before I came to the school and I hope this gives you a general idea of the tools you'll be needing for the school year. Technical items such as your laptop and tablet haven't been included here but have been covered previously. These items are also the most likely to change every couple of years due to upgrades in technology. Alright guys, let me know what you'd like to see next. I know I've been getting a lot of suggestions on what to cover and I hope to use this summer to cover as much as I possibly can before going back. Well, until next time, this has been Kami Ken, signing out.